Hey, hey guys, Desert B here with more Sinking City. So we just finished up the first part of the case to figure out what's going on with the expedition and why Mr. Throgmorton's son was murdered. So we discovered that the Inns Mouthers, it appears, are not affected by the insanity and the hysteria that everybody else seems to be affected by. They knew the expedition was going down to the cave, and so they went down there and ambushed them and stole an artifact that they found and kidnapped the professor. So, the professor that's in charge of the, um, the expedition. So, that's pretty much where we are. We told Throgmorton that the expedition members are still alive down there, and I guess he can do with that what he wants, but at least it's not on my conscience now that, you know, we left him down there to die. And um, I think this would be a good opportunity to maybe look into a couple of side quests and maybe explore the city a little bit more. We did get a couple of items when we finished those quests. So we got uh, Albert Throgmorton's obituary and then we got another side quest from Mr. Throgmorton himself. He wants us to discreetly look into his friend Herbert Glover, who was a collector of fine arts, who was supposed to have a meeting with Mr. Throgmorton, and he never showed up. And he lives actually right down the street from Mr. Throgmorton. So I think we can go and check this out. And then I was thinking maybe we can do that field research for the doctor, because it says that one of the people he wants us to look into, um, where's, it's this one, I think. Yeah, Dr. Grant asked me to visit a shop in Central Salvation Harbor, Harbor. Even before the flood, the man that owned it was haunted by monsters in his dreams. He may know something useful about the creatures. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll learn something cool about the monsters. And maybe we'll get a chance to use some of our traps. And we got a new item. We got a hand grenade now, which I can craft. That's awesome, actually. And I'm out of gunpowder on those. Oh, you know what? Where's my skills? We actually have three skill points that I need to use here. So combat proficiency, I... I haven't gotten any of these yet. So we could do set traps twice as quickly. Keep an extra bullet loaded, gaining a chance to deal double damage with the pistol. 10% chance. And then these would open up this this one over here would kind of open up higher proficiency. Hone your eye, gaining a double chance to deal, gaining, sorry, gain a chance to deal double damage. So another double damage. Submachine gun accuracy, load two additional shells in the shotgun. I don't have a shotgun yet. Reload your revol revolver faster, or this one, sapper charge. Grenades and firebombs, increased range. Trapple, tra I'm trying to say ankle biter and traps at the same time. Traps hold enemies in place for longer. Oops. And then we've, of course, got our vigor. Carry extra rounds. Which I already actually have. So I've already started this tree. So this is all about carrying more items. Or over here, we've got, when close to death, you slowly regenerate a limited amount of health for one last fighting chance. That could be useful. And then we've got the mind stuff, which I've got, I already got this one. So experience, earn more experience and stay sane for longer. Re remain sane for much longer, which would be useful because you, you just cannot focus when you're losing your sanity. Gain a 50% chance to double the quest, quest reward items. That would be cool. And gain more experience from all sources. So I do have three skill points to use. Ooh, carry 25 pieces of any. Yeah. I think I'm going to get that. Want. Remain sane for longer. Or we could, we could do, so we've got two more points here. I don't know that I really want to set traps more quickly at this point. I just haven't even used one yet, right? Keep an extra bullet loaded. I guess, no, I don't know. The only thing is these kind of sound cool, right? 
Increased range or higher proficiency. Ooh, I don't know. That's a good one, too. Let's do this. And then let's get one in this category. Let's uh, carry more stuff. Or do we want to recover if we're close to death? I don't know. I guess let's spread them out. I don't know, you know? Now my inventory. Okay, well hopefully when I start picking stuff up now, I'll be able to carry more. Look at the way these people out here are dressed. They're definitely in in a better social standing than the rest of the city. I'm trying to follow my marker on my navigation pane in the top here. I'm looking for a uh, Glover. I think that was his name? The friend that never showed. So it said he lived uh, somewhere between... Oh, weird. Wait. Wait a minute. I want to... I like to pin my stuff, you know? So let's pin this. So I'm on Gold Ridge Road. Gold Ridge Road, and it's between Wind Half and Century, so it's somewhere on this block. I'm guessing maybe it'll have a symbol? Here's a symbol. Said he's a collector of fine art. The door won't budge. Mm, okay. Which one of these houses looks like they collect fine art? This one also has the symbol. You couldn't have given, given me like a house number? Come on, man. Oh, there's a monster. Oh god, that's his house. Okay, hold up. Let me get armed. I'm already losing my sanity. Let's crouch. Ooh, boy. Come on. There's m another one. I hear it. I'm just not sure if it's around. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh, I'm out of bullets. Lord. Ah. Help me. Help me. Okay. They were like waiting for me to show up. Let's get some more bullets going. I do have a lot of bullets for this handgun. Ooh, missed opportunity to use the grenade though, huh? Reused asset. I saw this in Throgmorton's place. Hold up. That's squelching. Look at all this stuff. What? Excuse me? I will take you out. <gasps> Francis Throckmorton. A 40 year old newspaper article. Francis Throgmorton, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again an eligible bachelor. Further text unreadable. Letter to Mr. Throgmorton. It's with my deepest regret that I must inform you that the price for the piece you have requested has changed once again. The demand for it has increased, and now it is triple that which we agreed earlier. I know this is the second time that I have raised the price, but the extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me, as I cannot replenish my collection. Well... That's the door won't budge. It's a little sus. He raised the price on Throgmorton twice and now he's missing. Interesting. Look at this old stove. The door won't budge. This house also looks a lot like Throgmorton's place, but I think the doors are closed. Like Dogmorton had a little study right here. He had the little 
a closet right here, and then the stairs were directly in front of the front door, just like this. Oh man, I got to go to the basement. The basement's always creepy. Who are these people? Oh no. We're gonna have to take Throgmorton more bad news. Let's craft some more bullets. And actually, let's load while we're here. And this one. Okay. Oh boy. Eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Do you think I have to take a picture of it? Doesn't have the picture symbol, so I guess not. I just thought maybe, you know, Throgmorton would want to see the evidence. Oh, look, a little, um, like a music hall. Here's, um, who's got the tri, uh, King Trident or Olympus or somebody? I don't know. Not up on my lore. What is that? What's that? Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, they're definitely missing a mirror. Yeah. You like what you see, buddy? <laughs> so awkward. Weirdo. Hey, they didn't... <sighs> Only slight scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. Yeah, okay. So, oh, okay. Any slight scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. So whoever was here was a professional. Uh-oh, why? Huh. That's a lot of warning shots. Why is my controller vibrating? Oh, look, a thing. Hold up. Let's just take a look around... Just in case, there's more to see before we go in and put together the clues. Appears not. Squint, run! Oh, okay. I have killed him. So, that wasn't intentional or what? Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags here. Who are you? What in K's name are you doing in my house? Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so here he's alive, so that sounds like maybe the first, or maybe this one. Let's go, here's Easiest number one. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from this. And then Who they get you? spotted, right? What in K's name are you doing? Some warning in my shots, house? and then they murder him here. Squint, run! Oh, oh K! I have killed him. Two yep. men broke in to steal a mirror. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one killed Glover. Okay. Key evidence collected. So I think it says only key evidence collected, which means we haven't collected everything yet. Let's take a look at our um, our lore. We got an old newspaper about Francis Throgmorton. And then in here, we've got two men broke into the Her to Herbert Glover's house in Old Grove to steal a mirror. This is pretty much what he just said. Squint mentioned that this is not his first robbery in the district. So, um, that little archive symbol on the top of the thing here is telling us we need to go and do some research. Probably at the police department. And then we've got a crudely drawn mm, picture of a strange looking mirror. Can we do any... Yeah, I think the Mind Palace is just for main cases, so I don't think we are going to have a Mind Palace thing for the uh, side quest. 
What's this? I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. Yeah, this is not looking good for Mr. Throgmorton at all. It, everything points to him robbing this guy and then having him murdered. But we got all the evidence collected. Yep. Take my... Uh, no, I don't want to delete it. I just want to take the marker off. Great. Okay, so I think the next stop would be the police department so we can look up other robberies that kind of match the same description and maybe find out who Squint is. And then from there, I think we can go down to the Salvation Harbor and check out the doctor's request to do some field research. Where am I going? I guess in the general direction of south. I suppose maybe we could check in with Throgmorton and question him. I don't know. Should we? And his house is... I mean, we're going to pass his house, so we could. Because it really looks to me like he murdered that guy. Or he hired people to murder him. Wow, look at this place. Is this the Throgmorton? No, it's uh it's that other one that we found. I forgot the name. Wonder if you can go into any of these. Oh, here's the Throgmorton place. Let's see if he'll say anything to me. Oh, they're still having a funeral. Glover is dead. I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. The good news is I've found Glover. And the bad? The bad news is he's dead. Murdered. Indeed. Did you discover who killed him? Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? Find me Glover's killer. I need the name of the man who crossed me, Mr. Reed, if I'm to make an example. Hmm, okay, well... We didn't accuse him, which probably would have been a bad idea, honestly. Anyways, he is our employer. But, um, let's turn around and go this way. He didn't really seem to care that Glover was dead. And did we actually tell him the mirror was stolen? I'm not sure. Okay, let's get oriented. Where are we headed? We want to go to the police station. So I really just need to go straight down here, dock, and then I think walk. Oh, that looks like a new tree. A new tree type there. Whoa. What's going on with you two? Whoa. People are weird. Let's head this way. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to explore the city a little bit more and just see, you know, what kind of places we can maybe investigate or are there people that we can talk to, like see this here? Did we already go in here? Yes, this was the expedition headquarters. So I'm guessing anything with an H on it, I think we could probably get into. Look at the tattoos and stuff. Is he a... See, he's not an Innsmouther. He doesn't look like one, but he's got all the symbols on him that the cultist looking stuff I've been seeing is... Here's the police department. Which we've actually not been in the police department yet. I don't think. Yeah. Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. 
If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain oh. Caleb Lyons at your service. He's salty. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Wow. Problem, officer? Do you and I have a problem, officer? No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks. Goodness sakes. Salty that I solved this case, I guess. So what can I look around at in here? Not much, apparently. Here's some cells. There's not even a toilet in this one. Did they not have toilets in the cells in the 20s? Captain Lyons. Can't go into his office. Staff only? Oh, I thought it was a cell. <laughs> okay. It's just like a barred gate. Nothing to look at here. This will be the archive. So, all right, let's go ahead and check this. Lives on Gold Ridge. His house is situated. We want to look at this. So, one of them's an experienced thief nicknamed Squint, proceeded to crack a safe, alerted the owner, and got a bullet. The second burglar killed the owner with a knife. Squint mentioned that this is not his first robbery in the district of Old Grove. Okay, great. So let's start there. So district, Old Grove. Crime. Property crime. Subject. Or evidence. Let's try suspects. Here we go. Squint's police profile. That was easy. Philip O'Connell, alias Squint, male, 46, unknown residence, crimes, numerous burglaries in Old Grove, breaking and entering, tax evasion, possible associates, Sidney Stokes, male, 21, he resides in Oakmont, northern Salvation Harbor, west of the intersection of Moreland and Salvation Road, crimes, jaywalking, lollygagging, jury duty, dodging, what a hardened criminal. So we can use that to track down his residence and then um, maybe talk to him and see if he knows where Squint is. So Salvation Harbor in, in the north, west of the intersection of Moreland and Salvation. Here's Salvation. And where is Moreland? This is Wind Something Marsh Abolition Moreland. And it says west of the intersection so somewhere over here what is this thing let's put a pin right there all right the art collector's demise picture of a mirror see i wonder if we can i'm sure this wasn't reported a letter to mr throgmorton No. I was just curious if maybe there was anything else that I could look into. Like, for example, well, have we found that old newspaper article? I wondered if maybe we could search that. But now that I think about it, that would probably be more like a, um, a newspaper archive thing. Just to see, which the newspaper archive is just right here. Let me take this marker off and let's just go over there. Plus, that lady in the newspaper wanted to do an interview with us. So we can go talk to her. Do the interview. Kind of forgot what the archive looked like. Or the newspaper. Oakmont Chronicle, here it is. She's still here. 
Got some time for your interview. You still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but tell our reader something more about yourself. More? So I served in the Navy or I'm an investigator from Boston? Uh, I don't know. Which one's more important to the story? I'm an investigator from Boston? I'm a private eye in Boston. The situation in the port was a good use of my skills. Well, uh, Detective Reed, I, I think you'll find our city has a lot of secrets, uh, but people may not like you poking your nose in. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Why am I here? I'm looking into the source of visions, or I'm tracking down missing people. We came here because of the visions. Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but we were much more concerned with the Flood. Though Robert Throgmore in sent an expedition. Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. And maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. <laughs> you never know. See you later. He's adding a little extra dialogue there instead of just the typical bye. Now he's saying, see you later. So here we go. We could look for the mirror. Hmm, I want to search for that old newspaper article, and so I can read the rest of it. Crudely drawn mirror. I just don't have much to go off of for a search like that. So... We can search this guy. Period. After the flood or before? I'm not sure. People? Officials? Celebrities? Commoners? Journalists? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I just realized I have his... I pinned his picture to the screen. Interesting. You can pin pictures. That's kind of cool. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister? I can't buy the paper. I don't have an option. So, all right. Well, from here, let's hop in the boat and let's head out to Salvation Harbor. And we can start with... Let's... I guess, I don't know, should we finish the case that we're on and then go and see, do some field research? Home of the Infected Man. We want to do this one because it says he might have some useful information about the creatures. Which I think I already pinned this, right? Salvation Harbor, Windheim, south of Polaris. This is Windheim. Yeah, okay. I think my pins are glitching a little bit sometimes because I have a lot. I should have a lot more pins on my map, actually. But the only one that's showing up is this one. Northern Salvation Harbor, west of the intersection of Moreland. Yeah, see? This one wasn't showing up a second ago, but now it's there. Now the other one's not there. Oops. I don't really want this guy's picture pinned to my screen. Can I, like... Can I pin the location? Oh, whatever. I guess if we see him in the street, we'll recognize him, right? Let me focus that, and then let me just make a complete... 180 and get to the boat. The news that's fit to print. Holy smokes, mister. Vomiting right in the street. All right, let's pick a path. Well, so let's take a left here so we can stay in the water. So left here, right on Old Colony. Left. Oh God, look at that rotting carcass.
This is Old Colony. Another whale carcass. Just washed right up in here in the middle of the city. It's almost like the water was higher at one point, you know? Like, and then when it receded, it left behind these carcasses. Look at this guy. They have like a pontoon. Better set up than me. Although that seems like it would be a little harder to navigate though, huh? So we're just going to straight shot all the way to the end of this road. I want to see what that big statue is. I can't pan the camera though. There's a bunch of places to dock down here. There's one. This is a big boat. Okay, so we are in Salvation Harbor. Doing some boat repair there. I bet there's a good market for that. Yeah, what is that big thing right there? And that. I just like have my gun out casually. Brandishing a weapon here, no big deal. West of the intersection of Moreland and Salvation. Here's Salvation and this is Moreland. So... Aha! I don't know. Let's check this out. So this is supposedly where the secondary criminal residence of Sydney Stokes. Let's just get armed because, you know... He's a human, I think, so maybe we'll use our less powerful gun. Still gonna crouch, because you never know. What's this? Some weird music. Mr. Stokes, a letter from the morgue. The price for a separate burial for your mother, Martha Stokes, is 30 bullets. The morgue cannot give you a discount. There are more requests for burials than we have resources or manpower to satisfy. You must make the payment in two weeks or we'll have to enter your mother in a mass grave. Oh man. That sucks. Uh, I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating whatever this is. What is it is the question. Whoa. What am I supposed to do? Break it? Is this his mom? God, I can't. There we go. Martha Stokes. Rest in peace. Rip. Cartridges. I wonder, is it abandoned? What's this? Oh. I guess it's just the wallpaper peeling. I thought maybe it was a false wall. So that's sad. His mom died and he couldn't afford a barrier. Oh gosh. Wait, what? It just came out of nowhere? Much less powerful weapon here for sure. I wasn't expecting to run into monsters in here. That would be seeing a human. Why does this? What? The hallway just goes nowhere. Well, let's check upstairs. What the heck? No, another murdered person in this case. Are there monsters? Great. <sighs> Looks like Squint was having a bad day. Survived getting shot just to be stabbed to death. 
But who did it? Yeah. So it's got the, um, the distortion in the edges of the screen. There's got to be something here for me to see. Maybe I need to collect more evidence. What do we have here? Old Bridgeport? Some kind of drink. He didn't have anything to say about it, which was weird. Aha. Oh, Ma. I killed him. What have I done? What in the world have I done? Yeah, so he was more of a small-time criminal, not really into a uh, murder. What the? I feel like... I feel like it wants me to see something here. Let me try it again. There we go. At long last, I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. What? Confused. Why? Why do I hear somebody crying? Is that in my head or is that in the game? I can't tell. Not like my head, but is that in is that in Mr. Reed's head or is that in in the house is what I mean. I'm not losing my mind here. Charles is. Yeah, there's gotta be something else. Here we go. Yeah, see? False walls. Fuck! Get away from the Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another monster. Sydney Stokes? Or how'd you get in here? Uh both are good questions. Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It's not the first yeah, time we've seen me. that. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. Yeah, who? You said she put the wall here. Who is she? She she she's our employer. I don't know her name or anything. She she promised us a good payout for a simple job. And I fell for it like a chump. Interesting. Sydney Stokes, I presume. I, I, that's the right, right. Do I, do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here about Herbert Glover. I believe you know him. Or, should I say, knew him. Uh, okay. What was your job? Where's the mirror? Or describe her. What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then hoof it out of there. Where's the mirror? Well, we saw her take it, but so I guess we'll ask. Fancy mirror now. She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big blowout and she shivved him. Okay, what am I to do now? Phil was the idea guy. I, I was. I'm just a sap. Describe her. Why kill Glover? Well, I think he attacked them, right? He was an accident. We saw that. Come on, paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was tall and thin, very thin, just skin and bones. I mean like a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake. That's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at her. Why kill Glover? Were you hired to kill the collector too? Or was that just for laughs? I, I, I swear to Kay, I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us and I, and I panicked. You panicked? Really? That's your excuse. Please, as Kay is my witness, I didn't mean to kill anyone. I'll give you everything I have. Just just let me walk. Yeah, I mean, he's a that's a straight up murder and he is a criminal, so well, I don't really care about quite a night. turning Break him in. Breaking, theft, and manslaughter. I'm going to have to report this. Uh, please, I, I'll, uh, I'll get the char for this. You should have thought of that before you killed a man. Yeah, change your career path, man. 
creepy key evidence collected, but evi there, that's what I wanted. I want all evidence collected. So she's got some kind of magical power to put up a, a false wall like that. It's, um, that's an interesting trick. And then maybe the monster was here because the blood had attracted it. Okay, so let's check the log book. We've got a letter from the morgue for Mr. Stokes's mom. I don't know why that's important. And then Sydney Stokes, along with Phil Squint O'Connell, were hired by a strange woman to steal a specific mirror from Herbert Glover. Stokes accidentally killed Herbert during the robbery. They later met with the woman at Sydney's place where she killed Phil and took the mirror and locked Sydney inside. Sydney couldn't remember her in much detail except that she was thin, old, and had a bad temper. I should return to Throgmorton to tell him what I found. And then here's a description of her, I would assume. Oh, this is a, a dialogue thing, so we need to talk to somebody. An unknown woman took possession of the mirror at the thieves stole from Glover's residence. She killed Phil O'Connell, also known on the street as Squint. She said that she'd fix what Francis had done. She may look old, but there's not a frail bone in her body and more than capable of murder. Yeah, the thing about fixing what Francis had done is a little bit strange because... That was such an old newspaper. So, I mean, she's he's she's described as being old. Who knows? Okay, so let's go and uh, let's check out the the doctor's request. So let me remove that and place this on the map, which I think I already did. Central Salvation Harbor on Windheim, south of Polaris. Yes. So let's uh, take a boat. And we'll run down here and probably run into a monster, but it is what it is. So we can't craft any ammo right now. Can't craft one of those. Can't craft these either. All right, let me just uh, turn around and head for the boat. Now it's dark and raining. So time, it does seem like time passes as you progress in cases, I guess. I don't think it actually passes on like a set timer, but there's definitely changes in the atmosphere as you complete certain tasks. I think we want to go this way. And then let's go straight through here and then we'll take a right on Salvation. It's pretty cool seeing different parts of the city. They all kind of have a, a different look about them. Is this, is this the road? I can't read the sign. Yeah, Salvation. So let's... Wait a minute. I guess turn all the way. This way and go straight. The only neighborhood so far that I've seen that is even in the slightest way still intact is that old grove, or not, it wasn't old grove. What was the, uh, what was the fancy neighborhood where Throgmorton lived? I forgot. We're at a fork, so let's park it here. I don't have all that much ammo. I have the m most in this, so let's get loaded. I expect since we're specifically looking for information on monsters and whatnot that we're probably going to run into one pretty quick. Whoa, look at this growth. Wait, where'd my marker go? I don't see it. Oh, I went right by it. 
So let's look for a symbol. Why is that glowing? I don't see anything. Let's go back down the block. All it says is on Windheim, south of Polaris. Here we go. Men's finest clothing. Maybe. Ah, uh, yep. Listen to the twinkling. The little tune. I like it. It's... Oh, crap. Monsters. They're the little fast ones, too. Oh! Eek! Yikes. Help me! Help me! That was a... Come on, now. Oh. Well, they're after me. Don't you see them? I really would prefer the other gun, but... Ugh. Not fair. Not fair at all. At least it's cornered. Whoa, there's a bunch of blood here. Come on, die! Why aren't they dying? Ah! What's that? What's happening? Is it re... Regenerating health? This is not good, guys. Okay, that's one down. Why is this one glowing? And what? It grew a beard. Guy, where are you? I have don't. I don't know what's happening here. And this one. Eh, I cannot kill them. Where'd the other one go with the beard? I hear you. I think I do. There it is. Oh no, I'm out. Ah! Oh my god, come on. Lord, help me. That was a struggle. Why does this one have so many more tentacles? Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. Yikes. Yeah, what happened here? Did they eat him? Those blood stains would definitely attract wild beasts. Whoa, look. Is that a ghost? Or is that a... Is that real? Shop owner's notes. The dreams returned again, even stronger than before. I feel those things touching me, crawling, leaning toward my warmth. The doctor is a Dane, obsessed with his theories, but who can help me? I'm losing my mind. Today I woke up and one of the creatures was under my blanket. I smashed it on the floor and stomped it until it stopped moving. But it was no more a dream. It is real. Neither coffee nor cocaineum. Co why can I not? Cocaineum? Work to stay awake. K, help me. Twice I have almost fallen asleep and they appeared again. So he was really losing his mind. That was an actual person who just walked in here. So there's some stuff in the screen. Yeah, what's that? Whoa. Now we're following the sea creatures instead of a bird. Who is that? He wants me to go down. But I'm out of ammo. All right, hold on. And I don't have any gunpowder. I'm not in a good spot here. At all. Okay. I have an idea. Not that. Let me get one of these. And then I can also maybe do a trap. So let's see. Oh, shoot.
there's a bunch of bodies down here that are all dismembered. And then here he is. I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. Oh my god, you're so insensitive, Mr. Reed. Here we go. Let's get some ammo crafted. What else is- Oh my god. Alright, I'm ready. I'm, uh, kind of- Kind of ready. They're so fast. I just... We're not loaded and ready. Why are they running away from me? Unbelievable. I hate- I hate how fast they are. Okay, well, where's my thingy, Majigger? Aha! That was effective. Look at this. It's almost like a portal, but it just goes to the wall. There's one more beast in here. Ran upstairs. Let's get some ammo crafted. Yes. That's what I like to see. Yeah, what is that? It's like a doctor, that vision right there. Freaky. Let's get some ammo loaded. How come I'm losing my sanity? I guess the bodies of the beasts. So... Surprisingly, even though we had quite the encounter here with these monsters and... Oh, they were going for the blood. Get away from me! Disgusting monster. You really have to be really accurate with your aiming. And this thing doesn't want to die. Come back. I want the XP. Even though we did have quite the encounter, we uh, surprisingly didn't lose a ton of health. Took some damage, but not, you know, not a lot. So, did we... We haven't collected all the evidence. Let's look in the casebook. Although, will it tell me? This is a side quest. Here's the notes. It still has the thing on the top of the screen, or on the top of the icon, so that kind of feels like we didn't find all the evidence. The man who died and turned into a monstrous creature lived in Northern Salvation Harbor on Moreland Road between Higgs Lane, Dr. Grant. Oh, this is the other one. But why is the icon still there? Like, I didn't find everything. Let me take a look around and just see if I missed what happened. Oh, I think it's just these. Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. Maybe there's a little- maybe there's more to see. I didn't check in this, uh, in this vision thing. So these are leading me to the body. I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. Yeah, they just lead you to the body. Ooh. Close up. I'm gonna assume... that we just have to go back to talk to the doctor, and maybe that'll finish out the quest. Because I don't think there's anything else here to see. I do really enjoy the little twinkling tune that plays in here, though. And just back out to daylight. Normal Oakmont life. Let's take that off and...
The next place we would investigate would be here. Northern Salvation Harbor, Moreland, between Higgs and Benevolent. Moreland was up here. Higgs and Benevolent Tide. Okay, here's Higgs and here's Bele ben Benevolent. Let's place a marker and then do a focus. And head back to the boat. Whoa, glitchy. Definitely a little bit of glitchiness here and there. Can I get off here? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is probably going to be bad um, because I'm so low on ammo. And but the using a bomb actually was really effective if I can get it thrown before they're like on top of me. The ones infected man's residence. Great. The little the little fast ones are really hard. Ah, but you're not a little one. Is that real or is that an I hate myself. Is that real? I'm so confused. It's like invisible. What's going on? I don't know what's happening. Why is it invisible? Oh, I died. <laughs> oh God. Why was it invisible? Whoa, I don't know what to do. Oh no. Oh, I'm not far. I'm so confused, though. All right, we got to get back in the boat. I don't know what was going on. Oh, no. I has to stop. Let me try it again and... I don't know. Try to figure out why I couldn't see it. Maybe... Maybe I need to use the mind's eye thing. Right? Like... Let's see... See, there's one there that's invisible. Like, I can't... Oh, my bomb. It went in the water. I see why it didn't work now. Wow, these do a lot of damage. But they appear to die. I mean, it's bleeding. Okay, awesome. Where's the other one? Come on, hold on. Give me... Oh, I'm out of the what you call it. Can I set a trap? And lure it? Where is it? Oh no. I want it to get in my trap. And then what am I going to do? And then I'll shoot it. It didn't get in the trap. I need a health. Where is it? Okay, so those are not cool at all. They're, they don't appear to be able to get caught in the traps because they don't... They're like invisible? Why is this glowing? Oh my god. I don't know what's real anymore and what's in my head. 
All right, we got to chill out. We got to chill. My sanity is just about done for. Give me one of these. Now, can I investigate? Every kid's childhood dream. I wanted a toy like that, too, once. Lee's secret book. Bad dreams. Spelled wrong. Again. The thing under the floor keeps scratching. I told mom, but she said it were rats. Dad told off John for playing with slimes near the hole, but it wasn't him. I told dad about the thing who lives in the basement, and he's punishing me, too. Tonight I saw the head looking from the hole and cried. It comes at night and wants to do bad things to me and John. Why don't mom and dad believe me? I was so tired from not sleeping that I couldn't watch the hole. And today I feel so bad. My belly hurts. My mouth tastes like slime. My mom and John say they feel bad too. Even now I hear it scratching. So this hole and this slime? What else can I look at? So I'm guessing I can probably break that and go in the water, which doesn't sound like a fun time at all. Some ammo and potentially go upstairs. Why does it have a chest drawn on it? Let's get some ammo. Oh, I can't get that. All right. What kind of monsters are waiting? Oh no, there's a coffin in here? Multiple coffins. That's disturbing. People do like to be buried with their gunpowder though, don't they? Nothing else here. I can't go over there. Oh, it's flooded anyways. Hey, I'm stuck. Let me out. Am I stuck? This is weird. This is weird. I am... I'm stuck. Like I'm glitched in here. Get me out. Oh my god, thank you. Lord. I hear the scratching that the letter was talking about. Let's go upstairs. Crouch. Look at the seaweed. My god. More slime? And that's totally blocked off. <gasps> Oh my god, there are so many. Okay, but these aren't the ones that are... Wait, can I place a trap? How come I... I don't have any... Uh... Darn it. I want to make... Another bomb. Alright, so let's... Uh... Yes, the trap worked. And there went that. And he's out of the trap. Okay. This gun is slow. And it's not powerful, guys. I have one round. Let me get this one loaded up. Oh, there's two more. Crap. I'm gonna die. We got a health kit. Right now. Maybe another one. And back to... Ooh, I only have two shots left. I'm gonna die. I might die. Okay, that one's... That one's taken care of. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We got this. Come on. Ooh. Alrighty. Okay. Let's health kit. Yikes, man. Yikes. Let's get that crafted. 
Please tell me that's all of them. Is that the whole family? Uh, the slime stinks even worse than the bodies. Disgusting. Yeah, look, I think they turned into them. More slime. Uh, weeks have passed since this food was cooked. John, you oh, 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 what is happening to me? That's horrifying. No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? <laughs> no sick days, huh? What else? Oh my god. To figure this out. So I wonder if that happened first? I don't, I don't know. Let's try. And then we'll go upstairs. And then maybe the dad went to work. And then that happened over there in the living room. No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. John, you oh, oh, what is happening to me? The beast crawled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too. Deadly infestation, key evidence collected. All evidence collected. See, I think I missed something in the last area because... Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Field research. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, well, hold on, hold on. So this is... This is the one, home of the infected man. And see how the little symbol on the top corner of this is gone? And this one's not. So I think I missed something here. And then we've got the book... Mm, I might go back and check this place out and just see. Because it should have ended it kind of in a similar way that this one did. But, um, I guess, uh, I'll... I'll finish that up maybe in the next episode. Unless I just do it real quick off camera. I don't know. We'll let you know. But, uh, for now, that'll be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. And I appreciate you being here. See you in the next episode. Okay, I came back to the little shop just real quick and the monsters are back, unfortunately, but I did find this that I missed. Hospital response. The disturbing dreams you complained about may be the result of the helminth infest infestation. Your description of the creatures you see and feel while sleeping is reminiscent of some parasitic forms of life. I recommend you follow the recipe below to prepare an ointment of my own devising. This should ease your symptoms and help you get rid of any and all parasites. Still doesn't say all evidence collected. Unfortunately, the monsters returned, and I am t just totally out of ammo here. Leave me alone. It's like running from me. I don't understand. Come on. Okay, got him. Good. Now we don't have to worry about the monsters. Oh, a letter. I swear. Was this here before? Suicide note. I can't bear to stay awake any longer. I can't let them take me there. Every time I see them in a dream, they appear to me, touch me with their cold hands, sting me with those tails. There's only one way to end this suffering. Okay, forgive me. Yikes. Key evidence collected. All evidence collected. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. All better. Very good. And we've got the hospital response. And 
Now the symbol's gone from the uh, thing right here, so that means we've done it all. What's this? The dreams returned. So this is one of the letters we picked up. I have to tell the doctor. So we need to go back and talk to the doctor about these. Yeah, probably about all three of these, actually. So that would be the next step in this case. That was fun. It was kind of nice to take a little break from the main missions and um, investigate some side quests. We got some items, got some XP, got some um, knowledge points, and explored the city a little bit. So it was fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hey everyone, Brittany here with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time for more.